Days like today, it's nice to enjoy some time by the pool, but many people in Raytown don't have that option now because its popular Super Splash Park is closed for the summer I'm season. I'm bummed about this. Yeah. I used to go there as a kid. It was my first job. Mm -hmm. I worked there as a lifeguard. 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel explains how this popular park's not making big waves this summer. When you're coming up to Super Splash here in Raytown, you'll see this sign, Super Splash, closed for 2017. And members here in the community say they want to change that. My mom knows I was here every day. Even if we were scheduled off, we would always find a way to come back up here. For best friends, Lena Collins and Taylor Lindley, Raytown Super Splash Park is their home away from home. I look at it and I'm like, I learned how to swim here. I teach kids how to swim here. But the 50 year old pool is starting to show its age. That's why park leaders voted to close the popular park for at least a year, maybe longer. Painful decision because it's been around for quite some time, but uh, frankly, we've been fighting uh, competition. With costly repairs and low attendance numbers in recent years. We saw over the last oh, five, six years, our attendance go from 85,000 down to last uh, last season down to 29,000 and change. Park leaders say it's been a lot to try and keep up with. Finally just kind of hit the breaking point that there's so many repairs are required to keep it safe. Uh, we just couldn't come up with keep up with it. For Collins and Lindley seeing the empty pool. It kind of breaks my heart. So Collins and her friends decided they wanted to do something about it. We all sit around the dinner table and asked ourselves like what can we really do and then I came up like a petition. How many people can we get to ha like have our backs? Nearly 700 signatures are now on the petition. Once Collins receives enough signatures, she'll present it to the Raytown Board of Aldermen, hoping to see this splash park reopen for next year. It is a home away yeah. from home, and it's sad to see it go. As this park remains closed this summer, park leaders are weighing their options on whether or not this park can stay open or if money should go elsewhere. Reporting in Raytown, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News. Ray, 